Hello guys, it's the man here. Welcome to the channel. So welcome to the channel. This is Man Discovers Tech. In this episode, well, it's a special episode because yesterday's episode, what we did was we actually found out that Spotify is moving into lossless streaming. So basically, for you, for those of you who don't know, higher quality music is coming to Spotify, which should mean much better quality from what you can perceive. So today's episode is about, well, we now have Spotify Hi-Fi, we have Amazon Music HD, we have Tidal Hi-Fi, and we have Cobuzz and Deezer. Now these are all the streaming apps that I know of right now that are offering lossless streaming. And well, that means we have a much more competitive marketplace. So the question is, a lot of you guys watching right now, you're probably thinking, well, maybe I want to transfer my playlists from one to the other and figure out which service I like the best. Because me personally, I've had Spotify since 2009. So I've had it for about 12 years now. And I think it's still the best streaming service from my, that's my experience. And Tidal is a close second. Now I still subscribe to Tidal because this channel is kind of a hi-fi channel as well. I'm one of my major passions in this world is hi-fi, whether it be speakers, headphones, you know, so I'm really into getting the best quality I can out of the music, also musicians. So that's also important too for me. So the thing is with Spotify, it's never been able to support that lossless streaming and Tidal has. So I've always had two services. I've had Spotify and then I've gone to Tidal every now and again when I can afford it. I'll, I'll uh, whack Tidal back on. So in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to transfer your playlist from Spotify to Tidal or from Tidal to Spotify, or if you're on Amazon, uh, Amazon HD, from Amazon to T Tidal or whatever. And what I'm going to do today, and also Apple Music for you guys who have Apple Music right now. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to transfer my Spotify tracks and playlists, and I'm going to do it by, and I'm going to transfer it over to Tidal. And then perhaps in a few months time when Spotify Hi-Fi gets released, I'm going to transfer it back and we'll see. Let's get down to it. I'm going to teach you how to do it now using my uh, laptop screen. So let's do it now. So the first thing guys, we want to go to a website called tunemymusic.com. You might see here on the top left. And we have a premium plan, which is uh, $2 a month if you pay annually or $4.50 if you guess you just stick to the monthly. You get unlimited conversions and 20 automatic syncs, okay? On the right hand side, and I think I'm probably interested maybe in this one, is uh, the free plan summary, which is 1500 tracks, no automatic syncs. We're going to give that a go and we're going to see how useful this is and would it be worth going on to the premium plan because I see this automatic sync thing here and I'm getting a little bit, uh, I'm getting a little bit frightened that this means I'm going to have to go through every single one of my tracks and make playlists, but I don't know what that means, so we'll just continue. So let's make an account and enter your details in now. So don't have an account, sign in. So I'm just going to do that. Right. So what we want to do now, we have made an account. It says here, transfer playlist between music services. Transfer your music library from any music service to any other you want. Support Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, YouTube, and more. Let's start. So what is uh, Tune My Music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we pretty much know what it is. All right, so let's just see what we're able to actually do. But let's just start. Select the source. So I have basically all of my songs. I mean, there's a lot of songs that I haven't put on there yet, but most of my songs are on Spotify. So that's my source. Now it says to input your Spotify username and password, which I'm gonna do now. Here it says you will agree that Tune My Music is gonna be able to view your Spotify account data, view your activity on Spotify, take actions on your behalf. Okay. Yes, guys, for this sort of thing, we have to press agree. I mean, what else can we do? Can we go through our tracks one by one? You know, it just looks like they want a bit of uh, access to the Spotify account, so fine. So this step is about selecting your playlists to move. All right, so load from your Spotify account. So we'll click that. 
And here's just some of my playlists. So we'll go to next thing, next select destination. So on this one, we wanna go to, I'm moving to Tidal. So let's click Tidal and we do the same thing. Step four, it says moving 31 playlists, 950 tracks from Spotify to Tidal. Start moving music. And then here we go, it's working now. It's doing it all within the browser. So guys, as we're waiting for this now, I think some of you are probably interested, some of you definitely are interested in getting better quality music out of your Tidal, okay? And there's settings that you need to set, you need to set up the, the Tidal account properly to get, you know, your hi-fi quality and master's quality uh, correctly because a lot of people miss that out and when they think they're getting master's quality they're not actually get, they're not actually getting it even though the program says so I'm going to make a video about that just thought I'd let you know if you're not subscribed yet subscribe so you don't miss out as you can see one of the tracks here it says missing so this is the problem with uh, Tidal and Spotify and having these different platforms is that some of them have the the songs, or in this case, it's a sleep playlist I made. I, don't, I think I made that ages ago. Trouble sleeping when you're in this business. Yeah, so Tidal obviously hasn't got that particular track. Right, we're now at 100%. It says here, finish transferring, now create a daily, daily sync. Ah, oh, right, I see what this does now. So, basically, if you... It's saying here... If you are, if you have, let's say both, both playlists are going to be synced. Now, now finish transfer and now create a different sync. So, personally, for me, that's not. I'm not really interested in that because when I move to another service, it's so I don't have to pay for the other service. So I'm not interested in that. Spotify, you can use for free though, can't you? So uh, you know, some people might want to click that, but I think this is how they're going to get their money with the automatic syncs. So I'm going to press call, cool, got it. And it says here 950 out of 950 tracks uh, and missing tracks. Well, how can, oh no, it's processed 950 tracks, but there's 21 missing tracks. Yeah, so there's 21 missing tracks, which is not too bad out of 950. But if you think about it, you know, in percentage terms, you know, what is that? That's like 2% or something, right? Um, so, you know, if you think it's good, if you think it's good, I think it's all right. So now let's see if it works. I'm going to go to my Tidal account. I'm going to see if everything is there and see how nicely it's put everything into the playlist. So here we are on the Tidal account now. If we go down to, ah, here is everything. It's all there. Go to playlists. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of songs there. Yeah, I haven't really um, organized my playlist that well, in all honesty. Um, I need to start working on that. But as you can see, it is there. Interesting to see now, if I just click any old playlist, let's say this reggae playlist that I made, it just goes to show you, all of this is available in the hi-fi quality but we have quite a few, I mean, that's quite a lot, guys. Have a look. Masters quality, masters quality, masters quality, masters, 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 masters. So basically, this is high-res audio right here. Some people say you can't hear the difference. Personally, I think on, uh, you know, some tracks, especially live music, I think you can. But you have to have keen ears. You, you know, you have to have keen ears. Even so, as an audiophile, why not take the best quality version of the track if you can get it? Why would you settle for the worst one if it's the, if it's the same price? So I'm happy with that. A lot of these are now in masters. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe. And, you know, I do this every time because that's what this channel is about. So make sure you do it. Make sure you like, subscribe.
Join my tribe or I smash you.